The debate surrounding the Savannah Savages mascot is over. Thanks for joining us. I'm Alan Van Zant. Tonight, during the school district's Board of Education meeting, the board voting to make a few changes. Chris Roush brings us the details. This debate has gone on for the last 10 months, not only in our community, but abroad. And I think we need to move towards some sort of resolution. The Savannah Savages will continue to be the Savages moving forward, but now need to find a new mascot as the Board of Education voted 4-3 to phase out the Native American imagery. So this has been a long work in progress and something that the board has really very diligently tried to be thorough in our evaluation. The Tuesday night vote didn't come without more debate. I believe that this is the community's mascot, not the board's and not the administration's, and I move that we put it on the August ballot. But the ballot proposal quickly voted down in a 4-3 manner. And I think that we are fully capable and educated. We've taken the time to do the research, and I don't think we should put this on the ballot. The latest round of the debate about the Savage's name and the use of the Native American imagery started last summer, leading to dueling petitions and public forums. It is fierce. We are simple. We will come together as a tribe, and we will brutally fight for this community and everyone who lives in it. That is what is being a savage is about. I do not want to see this image or hear this word from this community any longer. Both the image and the word must go. Change the name. I'm not your mascot. The board's decision comes as a form of compromise, working to preserve the history of the district while implementing a new logo when financially possible. In the end, it proved that we did our homework. We read through all public comments. We listened to, we listened to everyone's concerns, and we made a decision. And that's ultimately what we're here for: is to make decisions for our district. Chris Roush, KQ2 News. A previous study done had showed it would cost approximately half a million dollars to replace all the imagery. But board officials say money to change the logo will not come from education, salary, or maintenance budgets. It will be done with normal maintenance, they say, and upgrades over time. They also say they hope to include the student body and community in the creation of a new logo.